Good morning. Another cold day in Oregon. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails about pickle. I keep referring to pickle and people are very curious as to what it is. Well, if you're melting gold, silver, your precious metals, uh, anytime you use heat, they're going to build up some degree of fire scale. And an acid solution called pickle, which is more to the pickling of the metal, not the fact it has anything to do with an edible pickle. Uh, it's a granular acid, white crystals. Uh, the safety on this is I would say you use this just like you would use your granular Drano's and, and household cleaners. It is an acid. Uh, it's a combination of two dry acids to form this product and it's non-explosive and non-flammable which puts it far ahead of what used to be uh, common. The thing about the acid pickle that I use it is for non-ferrous metals for gold and for silver primarily. Uh, these are copper tongs and other than the gold and silver, the copper is the only thing that should ever touch the liquid. This is should look like clear water and what happened is is I contaminated my water and my pickle pot the other day making a furnace. The grinding's coming off my grinder uh, got on top of the pickle pot and when I took the lid off let me see if I can get in on that a little bit when I took the lid off all of this buildup on top of the pickle pot fell in and then what I ended up with with crap that should be a clear liquid in there and it's separated crystals out and uh, so needless to say I ruined my pickle solution so I need to make new and I figured well this would be a good time for the video so the first thing I need to do is pour this out into a safe container where I can neutralize it and then we'll get started again I uh, took the time to put on some gloves and also well, you can't see me. I've got my face shield right here. It's, it's only a precaution. So what I have to do right now is I need to pour this which is supposed to. If you can see the crystal. have crystals in here. They look like ice. They're not. They're acid. They've separated out the iron, and since I started doing the carbon graphite, it is, it is into everything. So I'm just going to dump this old solution out and make sure I don't pour it on my power cord. And now, this is what screwed me up before, I'm going to take a little caution, and I'm going to clean this rim. It's just covered with graphite and metal filings. This is a small crock pot, like you would cook meals in. And the pickle solution really functions the best for cleaning precious metals when it is about 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So the use of a small crock pot, they do make pickle pots just for this. And believe me, a crock pot you can buy from Walmart for $14.95 if you buy an actual 
pickle pot, which not much difference, it's gonna cost you $39 or $49. So I'm gonna rinse this out and we'll get ready to make the new pickle. Okay, pickle pot's clean. The lid is clean. And my rinse water is clean. So I'm going to add the, about the equivalent of three cups of water in there. That's warm water. I, I uh, got warm water out of the house. Then I'm going to take my package of pickle. Got my face shield down. Gloves on. I'm going to open my package and then I'm going to use my copper tongs to do the stirring. And I'm just going to put some in and then I'm going to start just stirring it up. Okay, had to check the camera there. I'm just going to add some more. This package has got 10 ounces of the pickle. And the fact that I'm using warm water, it's going to dissolve a little faster. You want to discard this bag. I take mine and I put them in another little Ziploc bag and then discard them after I've rinsed them out. There's not much left in there. So now, I just have to keep agitating this until it totally dissolves and while I do that I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and turn it on. And now that's going to start bringing the temperature of the pickle up to 140 degrees, 135. And the thing you want to remember, don't get the pickle too hot because then you're going to make it evaporate. This pickle I just dumped out, I made in June. And until I contaminated it, it was working just fine. So, I'm going to go off for a while while I dissolve this and then we'll get it hot. Okay, I'm going to heat up a little bit of silver and for this I'm going to use uh, the white jeweler's torch and it's a Smith the brand name is a Smith and it is an air acetylene torch
camera on standby while I Okay, I've made a glob of silver in the mold and I'm gonna go ahead now and put it in the pickle. I gotta get it out of the mold. Handy dandy. She's pretty ugly. You put it right in the pickle hot. Uh, this pickle's probably just about coming up to temperature. So, I'm going to let it set and stew in the pickle for a few minutes while I get the next little task ready to go, which is going to be using the pickle to quench when you anneal a uh, silver sheet, gold sheet. Well, I've got that other silver in the pickle pot, I'm gonna do a little task which is called annealing. This is a silver disc. I cast it with a mold and then I ran it about five passes through the rolling mill and being that metal is crystalline in nature it will do what they call work harden and the only thing you can do to prevent the splitting that I did on this because I was in a big damn hurry uh, is a process called annealing. So I changed shift down to a two because I just about drained my acetylene tank. And then what you want to do, you don't want to melt the metal, you want to bring it up for this, for the silver, I'm going to bring it up to where it's just starting to get a good red glow to it. And then right into the pickle. Let me turn my torch off real quick. The aracetylene torch is, is a great torch, but if you can accomplish the same task with air propane or even air map, you'll notice the silver has gone white in color because it's going to need to be polished again. This it's still got some of the deep crevices. Let me get this. I take it out of the acid into the rinse water, and now you can go ahead and handle it without burning your fingers. But uh, that's how you anneal. Now this is soft again and I'll be able to run it through the rolling mill probably two or three more passes and then uh, I'll have to come out and do the same process over again. I'm gonna get this done reasonably fast. As black and ugly as that was I still got a little bit of flux just down in these crevices of which if I left it in the pickle longer but that took a really ugly piece of fire scaled up silver and turned it out to be uh, nice and clean so anyway that's the pickle pot you gotta treat it with respect 
do not get any metal in that other than gold, silver, or your copper tog. Uh, I was surprised stainless steel will, will ruin the pickle. The biggest problem with the pickle pot is forgetting to turn it on or forgetting to turn it off. But we don't get hot enough to really boil that out. And like I say, this pickle here, I'll be using that clear through the summer probably. So anyway, that's pickle and some of the things you can use it for.